We're now going to take a quick look at using the device manager utility. So what I've done is gone to control panel and all control panel items. And here I have a whole range of different utilities that are available through the Windows system. So basically what I'm going to do is select device manager. And what happens is a list of all the different drivers installed on my system appear. So they are all categorized under what parts of the computer they are. So relating to disk drives, keyboards, processors, mouses, etc. So if I take a look at some of the different drivers available for my actual uh, display adapters. So I've got two available here, a Mirage driver and one for my graphics card. So I'm going to right click on that and I've got three main options that come up. The first one is to update the driver software. Okay, as issues occur with specific drivers, the manufacturer may choose to update the actual driver itself. So by me updating the driver and having the most up-to-date version of that driver, there should be less bugs and errors associated with that driver. The next one is to disable the driver. This is an option if I feel the actual driver software is causing an issue with my system. So if I'm doing my troubleshooting process and realize that my driver may be the source of an actual issue occurring with my computer, I can actually just switch the driver off. The third option is to uninstall, which basically deletes the driver from my computer. Now this might be done for two main reasons. Firstly, it is the source of an issue on my system and I've got to get rid of it because it's causing errors. Or secondly, I might not have that piece of hardware anymore. So I might have actually gotten a new mouse and I no longer am using a specific type of mouse. Therefore, I don't need the driver for that mouse anymore. And I may choose to uninstall it. So they're the three main options available for driver software and why they may be used. Okay, I can also check out the properties for specific drivers and it's just basically where it's from and who's the manufacturer and notes related to that. Okay, so I hope that gives you a bit of a better understanding about why we use the device manager utility tool.